Hey guys, this is Jesse, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell down below for me because only love is real and everyone wants love, okay? So we're coming in with a little bit of a different video here. Yeah, losing weight, which you don't think though. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so we're coming in with a little bit of a different video it's about how to take care of your tarot decks okay so the first issue we're going to come up with is when you get a new tarot deck what do you need to do to cleanse it and get it ready to use or also maybe cleansing it after using it for maybe private readings a lot of youtube readings that you do if you're a youtube channel reader like i am too and like a lot of other people are so this is just little tips and tricks to help clean your decks okay so Let's get into it. Ready? Okay, begin. What is your element? What is your sun sign, your moon sign, your mercury sign? What is the element that most is representational of you? For me, it's fire. So what I like to do is I like to burn sage. I like to burn paleo santo um, to help clear my decks when I first get them. Like say, cause I like to purchase them a lot off of Amazon. Hey, Amazon Prime, love you. Um, I like to purchase them off of Amazon. I'll get them from Barnes and Nobles too, actually. It just kind of depends on the price range. You know what I'm saying, boo-boos? So white sage, paleo santo two very good cleansing smokes all right this is also used for smudging if anybody knows what paleo santo is is if you about that life okay so these are two good cleansings all right to give your tarot decks when you get ready to use them or if you are just using them on the regular basis to cleanse your tarot decks okay these are very two good natural elements all right i also like to do it where mine is set up by candlelight it's the candlelight that is set up upon my altar we you know bless it to whatever spirit you choose to believe in and i cleanse them by firelight as well after smoking you know what i mean sending them i didn't smoke my decks but you know what i'm saying <laughs> hmm, maybe is she smoking i don't know i don't think so anyway so Next, another way to cleanse it is either by sunlight, by moonlight, okay, and by crystal light, okay? So it just kind of depends on how you feel, what resonates best with you. Sunlight, moonlight, you leave it out in the sunlight all day, you let it resonate, okay? And the moonlight, you do the same thing. I didn't bring out my protection spray. There's also a way to do it with water. It's a protection spray you can create. You need to go to your local Botanica and they'll get you the herbs that you need. You always start every spiritual bath with the basis of sage and rosemary and your salts, okay? Because that is about your protection and your healing, okay? all of them but we'll get into that into the website so the next like i way said it crystals okay so that's another way to cleanse your deck now don't forget after you're done cleansing your deck you thank your spirits and your guides for everything that they've done always be grateful for all the information that they're providing you that's the whole thing you got to be thankful for everything that they give you because it's all a gift and another way you can use your other stones as well this happens to be my beautiful tiger's eye pendulum isn't it pretty oh, no anyway tiger's eye one of my favorite stones to be honest with you so you can cleanse it with stones and crystals okay this is where it's, this is quartz okay so those are the other ways to cleanse your decks besides like i said cleansing it with protection spray um a lot of people like to use what's a good protect a holy water based protection spray um i go to the botanica and buy it from there but i also go to different catholic churches and get holy water as well to put in my bath my baths um so that will help you as well it just depends on what your guides and angels tell you to do because everything is different that's the whole thing of this okay so everybody's way to do shit is always going to be different whoops didn't mean to swear okay so what's the last way i can recommend cleansing your tarot decks don't let anybody else use them okay do not let anybody else use your decks if you gift one to somebody that's it it's done that's now their deck okay because the energies that resonate in each deck they're specially bonded to you okay so this is what i figured out when it came out to giving a tarot reading the fact that i had even used the cards once in a reading it was done i couldn't give that tarot deck away i only i, I can only give them away okay when i'm divinely guided to give them away to someone if that makes sense okay so if it's not telling me to and i you know you, you can't do that just don't do it okay promise you bad juju bad juju all the way something's i got sorry i'm i'm, I'm in a state where it's like the state bird is the mosquito okay yeah he yeah they're sniffing around me gotta hurry up oh, no! so 
Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, there's lots of ways to cleanse your tarot deck. These are just a few. I'd love to know what you guys do. So like, share, subscribe, hit the comments down below. Okay, all of my beautiful Firefaith. This is Jesse with Firefaith Tarot. We'll talk again soon. Bye, guys.